Uh, we've got uh, the Minister of Water and Sanitation on the line, Pemi Majodina, who of course also wants to respond to those catastrophic dam collapses in the Western Cape. As I said earlier, three dams burst their walls, leaving hundreds of families homeless. Uh, it's resulted in widespread destruction in the area. A number of people in hospital, nearly 500 others receiving humanitarian aid. And it really is the kind of situation that brings into sharp focus the fragility of our water infrastructure. And uh, I dare say, Minister, firstly, welcome to 702 Breakfast and thank you for your time this morning. Thank you very much, uh, Bongani, and to your listeners for inviting me. I really appreciate it. I dare say it's a stark reminder, of course, of the critical role your ministry plays in terms of oversight, but also in helping uh, address this kind of crisis. That is very true, Bongani, because uh, we are supposed to regulate everything that has to do with water. We are supposed to give licenses. We are supposed to get reports on the monitoring of the water infrastructure. Whether it is private, whether it is local municipality, we have a, a, a responsibility to do that. It is against that background that I visited um, the, the, the Swartland municipality yesterday to check exactly what has happened. There are systems that are in that area. Yes, indeed. Um, just tell me in terms of your site visit there, uh, what 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 was what was your response to what you found? Mogani, those uh, dams, there are four dams that are on stream dams. On stream dams are dams which are built in a stream. Water gets blocked in a stream, but they are in the same uh, direction. There is dam number four, upper stream. Then uh, there are three other dams. What has happened is that dam number three which is in the middle, collapsed, and it affected dam number two, dam number one. Then the water flooded to the residential area. Then uh, subsequent to that, dam number four, which is the biggest dam, which is about five meters high, that also started leaking. And uh, we had to rush our engineers to go there and check what could be done because should that um, dam also collapse, the entire town was going to be flooded. Our engineers went there and the first finding was that there were no spillways in all four dams. When the water is full, there is no way where the water can release what uh, some water and then uh, be in an acceptable, acceptable level. So our engineers made a call immediately that is, other engineers from the city of Cape Town must come and build a, a spillway so that water can be uh, at the same level. And that was done on Friday and Saturday. We managed to rescue the situation at that time. So what I've said mm. there yesterday is that we must ensure that um, by today our, our engineers will go there to make a proper uh, investigation so that we know who must uh, be uh, held uh, responsible for what has happened. But these, these dams are not built with the concrete. They are built with the soft walls because they are in a stream. So the a lot that needs to be done. We have to yeah. go deeper. Yeah. Minister, uh, I mean, obviously one of the questions that will arise is why this was not identified earlier. Was there failure, for example, in terms of of inspections, why did this crisis have to occur in the first place? That is exactly why you are putting investigation there. Uh, these are not um, uh, uh, government um, uh, dams. These are private dams in a farm. So it is. Uh, it has been a norm, I must say, Bongani, that uh, people just decide to build dams without um, a, a requiring license. So we want. We don't want to time start now. How long that has been happening in that area? Because the other two dams uh, in the same area, they do have spillways, but these three, four, did not have spillways. So unfortunately, I cannot say. Uh, uh, there was no monitoring that was uh, 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 done there because I must await for a proper investigation. And I've given the team seven days to do uh, uh, that investigation and give me the report. Is it your sense, though, that the owners of these dams didn't have licenses? Is that what you're saying? 
as a moment, according to our records, we don't see any license that was applied for by these uh, uh, owners. Hence, we must, if they argue that they have applied, they must show us where did they apply and the copies of such. But at the moment, in our records, we don't get anything. Minister, let's have a broader conversation following, of course, uh, your update last week. Uh, what are you inheriting in the department that you lead? What's the state of our water in South Africa broadly? We do have water, however, we are part of the uh, 30 countries that um, uh, have scarce water. Unfortunately, our citizens don't understand that when they see water, they think that we have a lot of water when they see dams, when they see rivers. But our water, uh, most of the time, our water gets lost because of the leaks, old uh, uh, infrastructure, water that is uh, not paid for by those who are using water. At the same time, we have uh, uh, since um, uh, established the, the, the water assessment drop where we check what is the quality of our water. Our, the quality of our water is deteriorating badly. Um, the blue drop is deteriorating, the green drop is deteriorating, and it could take us to no drop. So what we are doing now is to ensure that we don't go to no drop. No drop is a water that cannot be used anyhow. So we must ensure yeah. that there is safe water, drinking water for livelihoods. So that is what we are busy with, but municipalities are unable to... To, to clean their water. They don't have enough uh, reservoirs, but the infrastructure is aging. We've seen the participation of the private sector in a number of areas uh, that have been critical for this economy, electricity being one, logistics and crime being another. Could water be a key area in which the private sector is, bought, is brought on board? Uh, because, as you mentioned, a number of municipalities unable to deal with water leaks. And so uh, a huge amount of the water that we should be able to use is wasted due to those leakages. We also know, of course, uh, the financial viability of the water sector mm -hmm. remains a challenge. Many municipalities owing boards, water boards, billions of rands. Can the private sector play a role here? Indeed, they have a, a, a huge role to play. Already we've started in the mining, uh, uh, mining sector uh, around Kuruman. The public sector, the mining sector came in and we are doing very well there. They are even involved in a project uh, of, uh, of stopping the leaks, uh, working with municipalities. So we have, uh, we have uh, established a private pr pr partnership office where we are going to work together with municipal municipalities as well as the business sector because for us if we want economy to grow we must have stability in terms of water there is a growing population when the population grow we must also grow our reservoir we must grow our water infrastructure would you be one to call for a more formal arrangement i know you've just given me one example there but would you want to be one that calls for a more formal arrangement in terms of, for example, the initiatives the president has led with a number of CEOs in this country uh, in the other areas I mentioned? Yes, Bongani. Um, the president also, um, in, 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 in his opening of parliament, he mentioned that water and electricity must work together and human settlement to ensure that we, we, we will sign agreement and working together with the private sector and the business sector. That is very important for our country. And they, they've been willing to work with us. It's just that we have uh, um, an interim arrangement. Not everyone is on board. My, my responsibility for this financial year is to ensure that we sign proper uh, working relations with them. All right. Uh, Minister of Water and Sanitation, thank you for our first interview here on 702 Breakfast. No doubt in the coming months we'll have more. Pemi Majodina is the Minister of Water and Sanitation. Current events, developing stories, tough questions, your voice making a difference. This is Breakfast with Bongani Bingwa.